Now I wait till episode 8 came out so I can rank the episodes from like the worst to the best. Of course, 8 being the worst and 1 being the best. Now, of course, before I get into the video, I do want to say these are my opinions and how you rank the thing, rank the episodes, uh, of course, based on different opinions, different views. I will say it was hard ranking most of them because most of them did come close to overtaking the other, so I had to put one last, obviously one first. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, I will say I don't normally put pilots number eight in any of my lists or reviews. No. Plus, repressed emotional baggage was only worth two points on the rubric. But I'm putting this number eight because one, it just does what pilots meant to do. Put you into the story, not nothing too big, nothing too bad. Puts you in the story, makes you addicted to the story. It makes you want to watch the next episode, then of course that makes you want to watch the next episode. It does that. Yeah, it does have some other stuff in it. I know a lot of people probably do like the pilot a lot more than the other episodes maybe. But also you have to remember that each episode has a better animation because the budget goes up a bit more. So the animation constantly increases, which does improve the episodes sometimes by majority of the time. And it just makes the episodes more barrel and more big. Um, yeah, episode one, the pilot is number eight. And there's nothing else I can say about it, honestly. It's a great episode, not written, like, if I had to say every episode of Honor Drones is probably not below a seven or eight, I don't think. I don't think any episode falls below that. Coming in at number seven is Cabin Fever. Can't hurt Uzi. We do our jobs, and that thing leaves I us alone. I don't know what you're talking about because you won't tell me. Basically, there's nothing wrong with this episode. It's a great episode. This, in my opinion, this is more of a fun episode. In this episode, we do discover like the zombie drones kind of thing, which we will learn about in a later date. Um, but yeah, we also get to see a bit more like Sin. I believe this is the first time. We actually mention Sin, and this is also how we can see V's kind of afraid of something, or whatever Sin is. Great episode. Uh, the episode did focus around Uzi. I think, like, oh, the only thing I don't like about murder drones is how the robots naturally accept the murder drones to not be a threat when they killed multiple people, but the next day they're friends. That's the only thing I don't really understand. But other than that, it's a great episode. Yeah, there was this kind of love interest with a random student that gets killed with N. It was the wrong way, but still it really felt out of place. Uh, the whole Uzi killing child was pretty freaky. And probably one of the most freakiest Uzi, freakiest Uzi has ever been. But to be fair, she was possessed by Sin. So that makes sense in that regard. Yeah, this pro so on some people this probably is higher up on the thing because this is also where we get to see that V's hiding something and V's like afraid of something that's out there that N has no idea about. Like I said, this is where we get introduced to zombie drones, which we find out in the flashback episode, and yeah, it leads up like. Until the flashback episode, a lot of stuff was building towards it. So, yeah, this is just one of, them, one of those episodes. Coming in at number six is Heartbeat. I was the pilot? That's awesome! I crashed and ruined everything. Now, Heartbeat starts off with another flashback, of course, leading up to the flashback episode. This is the second episode of Murder Drones. And in this episode, we do get a bunch of stuff like involving Doll. We get to see her and the mystery of her. Now, I didn't watch Murder Jones when, obviously, the first episodes come out. So, I didn't have to, like, w have the waiting time of the mystery. But the mystery is there. Great episode. And this is also where we get the first, kind of, introduction to Sin in this episode. And how she's, kind of, like, got a slight personality. Throughout this episode, it's, like, um, fake-out deaths with Uzi's dad. Uzi's being terrified of Murder Jones, a.k.a. N. Which was like heartfelt, like watching it for the first time, it did feel you actually felt it in my opinion. And yeah, they were um, Sim was kind of like killing uh, droids and cloning, well, using holograms. The first time we actually see her use holograms, she even hologrammed into N perfectly, meaning she had a connection with him in some sort. 
And yeah, I hope it was just a great episode in general. It ended with Uzi not being sure about the murder drones and being a bit terrified of losing her father. And that's kind of how Heartbeat ended. The flashbacks are obviously really good and it ends with like Dole being mysterious, being able to use extreme powers as Uzi. And of course, we actually don't know what's going on in this episode. We find out obviously at a later date, literally the next episode. Coming in at our five, obviously it has to be as high, home. <clears throat> Are also known for having gentle mouths. <laughs> That's why they're good with kids. This is literally the flashback episode. Probably one of my favorite episodes. We get a lot of like uh, lore involving Sin and N, V, J, and even the new a new character we see like for first time, Tessa. Now, like in this thing, it's pretty clear that Sin's like, of course, hated in the, for like the parents don't like her and they've locked her in the basement. And the only one who seems to like her is N. I personally thought that idea was pretty good and we get to learn more about the zombie stuff and the fact that Sin was cloning um, the, dro the droids in there and also we get to know how the humans actually started treating droids that was probably like, what made Sin become Sin and give in to the absolute silver and let it take over her body I guess and I do like the whole thing that Sin kind of from what it seems literally killed every one of those people and of course took over the world i wish we got to see more of that in my opinion but a great episode and we also see like more of um i actually do like how this flashback takes place because it's not a flashback it's more the fact that the memories are being altered and etc and uzi's able to connect so instead of a whole flashback episode we get to hear the lore and it's not even a flashback uzi's like interrupting it and trying to save them because someone's trying to copy data or something and yeah, and also I believe at the end of this episode, I'm more certain we get, yeah, at the end of this episode, we get to see Tessa and Jay. Of course, we think it's Tessa, but it's um, Sin. But you know, we get to meet them and it was pretty, you know, just a great episode overall with Tessa returning. Well, Tessa, by the way, the, blast, the flashback episode home is honestly such a great episode in my opinion. And yeah, number four, just short of top three, is the Proming episode. Ah. In this episode, basically, we get a more deep connection with Uzi and N, and uh, V, she kind of, they end up connecting somewhat with Uzi. Um, she kind of goes to the prom and gets captured and almost dies, but also in this episode, in my opinion, this is the Dole episode, but people probably know it's more as the Uzi and N episode where they die in the prom. And the fight scene definitely, for me personally, carries this episode. Other than mass destruction and uh, the absolute end, I think this is probably the best fight scene if you take those two episodes out the count. So, and this is obviously the third episode, so that in together it may not be bet as better animated as the others but it still holds up uh, today in my opinion and the episode just pretty good we get to know why um dolls lost the family from mother drones that's why she hates them it makes sense and it appears you know something about the absolute solver and she's sorry for uzi and she's trying to find a way to fix her and uzi so yeah, there's that. Also, I'm assuming that V's the one who ate them. It appears that way. By the way, the problem is a great episode. It just falls short of of the top three in my opinion, but that doesn't mean it's bad at all. Like I said, all these episodes are great. I had to put one last, one first. Yeah, you get the draft. You get the draw. Now we're entering our top threes. These are the top three best. Murder Drones episode out of the eight, in my opinion. Coming in on three is Mass Destruction. <laughs> mass Destruction shows us the, like, at the start of Mass Destruction, it shows us all the Cuban stuff and how they let Sin loose and let Sin took over the Cuban race. And this is probably the start of where Sin destroyed the Cuban race. The only downfall I have about Mass Destruction, in my opinion, is the fact that it end, like only had like about 30 seconds at most of realization that Sin died then he was over it for most of the episode 
in the last in the final we actually do see more of it but not like to an extent yeah episode seven master sergeant is really good it has all the things good animation such as uh, we get to see nori and how she's still alive we get to see Anna and Nori interact. We get to see Sin become Tessa and Doll die. Well, Sin was always Tessa and Sin kills Doll. Um, Tessa and Sin have a big... Well, not Tessa, Sin. Tessa, Sin has a um, fight. And then, of course, um, Sin, wait. Uzi controls Sin. Sin controls Uzi. They are, and then Uzi have a fight. Uzi comes back in control. Because N killed Sin, well N killed Tessa, he fully killed Tessa, Tessa's alive and well, and then they fight, Tessa fights Uzi, see at N, that's the end of the episode What Uzi sacrificed herself. It's such a great episode, and yeah, doesn't fall below my expectations, but number second and first do go way beyond in my opinion. Coming in at number two is Dead End. <laughs> hey, surface slickers. Dead End finishes off the episode 5 home by, well, maybe up with um, Jay and Tessa. Well, Sin, but Tessa. And this episode, like, it has a bunch of foreshadowing that Tessa is Sin, but I didn't pick up on it. I don't think most people did. By the way, great episode overall. The main bit about this episode is because, unlike the other episodes, I actually did have to wait because I. Picked the series up on episode 6, I obviously watched all of it, episode 6 I had to stop. I picked it up during that and I had to wait for a long time. So the death actually impacted me a lot. And it was really annoying but you know, yeah, V's death was done super good. Oh, v, I say V's death, V's fake out death. <coughs> um, we got the whole, I've got a ro the robot's name, but it's a robot who's seemingly done this a lot more mergers. Just Taking them apart or whatever. And don't know. I, I wish we got more detail on her. But she seems to know Nor Nora, Nori, uh, Uzi's mom, And that's kind of all the information we kind of got on her. And like I said, this episode brings a lot to Tessa. If you actually pay attention, she does like hold herself like Sin would. But I, of course, I, I didn't pick on that. The regular person didn't. But people who break it down probably did. So yeah, there's that. And uh, V's death still hits really hard, but because now we know she's alive, it hits less. But if you re watch it, it still hits. The song at the end too, and then and then um, <clears throat> and screaming was really uh, done really well, in my opinion. Coming in at number one is Absolute End. We're like dating, right? Oh. Yeah, what's because they can't always, I can't always read and like, uh, yeah. to a show as well during, it ends Yay. like, first I think 10 minutes, probably just, you know, them exploring the art, what happened after the final, of J and V, V being alive, and J finding V, and N and Uzi having a talk, see if they're dating, and Uzi Uzi talking to her mother, yeah, and like, not halfway through, but, the other three weren't a good vibes, but basically N vs Sin and Sin almost eating N was really feeling feeling terrified of Sin. It was a great thing. And then Uzi vs Sin with the music in the background hits so hard. I think I've rewatched that like three times already. It hits so hard. I just don't find the I forgot the music called, but whatever. And then at Sin trying to trick v, Uzi, but um, this is N and Sin, N and V won't let Sin trick Uzi, and then them fight, V fighting J, and J, J fighting V, and then Sin fighting N and Uzi together, and N and Uzi just doing a fist bump on the back, and then it ends in a presentation, with, uh, when it's all over, because obviously Uzi kills Sin, slightly I guess, um, it ends in a presentation, with, Uzi give a speech in her class the how, how the whole show started. We see um in the background cheering her on and V's also there. And that's kind of where the show ends. There's an end credit scene and V and and Sin seems to lead to be alive, but it's not really quite sure. Uh Tail seems to be speaking like Sin. And that's where the show ends. The show isn't fully over. They said they want to do more of V and with um 
and and Uzi, so we can see comics, I guess, or even a prequel, I guess, I don't really know. Um, but I am really excited, I'm not really excited, I'm really sad to see my Jones go. It's been a great ride out there. And yeah, this is my tier to worst to best episodes. Of course, episode end had to be first, simply because it's the final, and the final actually lived up to my expectations so much. The only complaint I had is that it is 20 minutes, and it wasn't half an hour, so I've said that in the Marvel videos. But that's the only complaint I have in this whole thing, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah. You look great. Mm. Have you considered a bow, though?